Welcome to ISTA's HSE Group YouTube channel. In this video we are going to see, why choose career in health and safety. That feels really powerful. No matter what industry or environment you work in, unfortunately, accidents do happen. Health and safety professional's job is to prevent accidents, making people's time at work as safe and happy as possible. A career in health and safety can be hugely rewarding and even has the potential to save lives. In the Health and Safety Executive's annual statistics for 2016-17, it was reported that 139 people were killed at work in the United Kingdom, and there were 609,000 injuries. With this many accidents and organizations having increasing legal responsibility for their workers' safety, it's unlikely that someone with health and safety qualifications will ever not be in high demand. As well as being a hugely rewarding career choice, there are a number of other benefits you can expect to enjoy as a qualified health and safety professional. And they are. A 2012 IOSH report stated that the average salary of someone with the NABASH diploma qualification is over £43,000, with more experienced health and safety managers and directors earning even higher salaries. You will also be giving yourself the opportunity to work all over the world. Amazing! Plus, every organization has health and safety legal responsibilities, which means you'll have the chance to work in a range of industries for businesses of all different types and sizes. A career in health and safety truly can offer flexibility, a multitude of career options, excellent pay, and the opportunity to improve people's working lives. What exactly does a health and safety practitioner do? Of course, but simply, a health and safety practitioner is responsible for preventing and minimizing accidents in the workplace but ultimately, it's about improving an organization's safety culture by inspiring your colleagues to commit to working safely. No two health and safety roles are the same but these are some of the tasks you would be expected to complete, carrying out safety inductions for new staff members, is creating and maintaining health and safety documents, it's completing safety inspections and audits, it's keeping up to date with any new or amended pieces of legislation. In our next video, we will see about how to become a health, safety and environment professional, and what are the necessary qualifications and certifications, kindly give your suggestions and feedback in comments section. To motivate us kindly like and share our videos and subscribe our channel. Thank you, see you again.